Welcome to a new video. Acetosalicylic acid, popularly known as aspirin, is a family of salicylates. It is often used as an anti-inflammatory, analgesic, antipyretic, and antiplatelet agent. The latter mainly indicated for individuals who have had myocardial infarctions. Being an over-the-counter medicine, many people consume it without knowing the proper dosage. Throughout the video, you will get to know the proper dosage, the adverse effects, and some applications that aspirin has that you probably didn't know about. In this video, I will mention the hidden secrets of aspirin. All right, let's start. One of the properties of the formulation of aspirin in its different versions is the rapid dissolution of its tablets. This makes their effect comparatively faster than any other painkiller. In approximately 20 to 30 minutes, it starts to exert its actions of relief. In general, its effect lasts between six and eight hours. In the case of being used as an analgesic to combat pain or antipyretic for fever, it is advised to take a tablet every four to six hours. An average tablet contains a dose of 500 milligrams. The maximum dose, however, is 3000 milligrams or three grams per day for a period not exceeding six days. If symptoms persist, it is advisable to always consult your doctor. He is the only one who can give you a diagnosis and a safe and adequate treatment. Adverse effects of aspirin are mainly gastrointestinal, that is to say, gastric peptic ulcers and stomach bleeding. In patients younger than 14 years, using aspirin to reduce fever has been decreased due to the high risk of contracting Ray's syndrome. This syndrome is acute brain damage and causes problems with hepatic activity. There is no cause yet known, however, and it occurs in one out of every 100,000 children. Another very well-known adverse effect of this drug is that it causes blood thinning. In November of 2013, a Dutch study revealed the truth about this well-known adverse effect. The study suggests that people who took aspirin before going to bed could obtain greater protection against heart attacks. The researchers wanted to see whether or not taking aspirin at night might thin out the blood of a person and with it as such, potentially reduce the risk of a heart attack. At the end of the study, the conclusion was reached that aspirin does indeed reduce the activity of platelets and thus reduces the odds that these platelets coagulate in the bloodstream and then cause heart attacks. Finally, I'm going to mention some other applications that can be given to the use of aspirin. Let's start. It can brighten stained clothes. For example, have you ever noticed that your clothes have become a little yellow or sweat stained? Well, you can crush some tablets of aspirin in a cup of warm water, apply that solution to the stains for a few hours, and then wash your clothes normally. It can make your hair brighter. You could put eight tablets of aspirin in a cup of warm water. You then take that mixture and place it in your hair from roots to ends with smooth movements. Leave it in for 15 minutes and then rinse. According to one author, this will give your hair a brilliant shine. You can use aspirin to remove blackheads. Crushing some aspirin, then adding a few drops of water to it to form a paste. To do this, you can crush some aspirin pills and then add a few drops of water to form a paste. Then, apply that paste on your pimples and blackheads overnight. At dawn, Remove the paste by rinsing gently with warm water. Now this is very important. You should not apply this mixture on irritated or reddened areas of your skin. Aspirin can eliminate dandruff. To do this, you crush some aspirin pills and then add it to the shampoo with which you wash your hair. You combine everything very well and then wash your hair with this new aspirin shampoo mixture. The creator of this remedy mentions that after using several times, your dandruff will disappear. Callus can remove corns or calluses on your feet. To do this, you take seven aspirins, crush them, and then add a tablespoon of lemon juice. In this way, you can make a paste that can then be applied to your affected corns or calluses on your foot. This will help to gradually eliminate the hardness. Aspirins can treat insect bites. Crush an aspirin and mix the powder with a few drops of water. Make a paste and apply onto mosquito bites on your skin. Leave overnight and then wash out in the morning. This mixture will help to relieve the pain and itching of insect bites, and in addition to that, it will also prevent infection. Aspirin can block the formulation of fungus on plant roots. Gardeners can treat soil fungi 
by dissolving a tablet of aspirin into a liter of water to water the affected area. Now, don't mix this very strong since it could burn the leaves of the plants being watered. So these were some of the adverse effects, the correct use, and remedies that people use involving aspirin. Of course, all of these are home remedies, and some do not guarantee a perfect solution. If you have any other unusual use of aspirin that you want to share, please leave me a comment below. In addition, if you know some other data or facts about aspirin that we haven't shared here, then please send it to our attention. Clicking on like and share is something that would help me improve this channel and provide you with other videos. I'm also leaving my social networks in the description below so you can always find out how to learn more about my videos and the work that I'm doing. Now, here are some previous videos for your enjoyment.